Okay, so we're back with Neptunia. Um, I was not expecting to play this game this morning, but um, some stuff kind of came up and I was just kind of bored. I won't go into detail. Let's just say I have a lot more free time today because uh, I'm not going to be playing anything until like at the very least until the e like afternoon. And right now it's only noon, so I got time. <laughs> but yeah, let's play some Nep Nep. Um, yeah. We gotta, we gotta beat this, like, super stupid boss that I died to last time, because he one-shot my whole team. And I'm gonna try it again, and if I can't beat him, I'm gonna probably leave the dungeon and restart with full health, because, yeah. Th this boss I is very dumb. <laughs> it might be, honestly, in my best interest to... Get Iffy's health back up before I start the boss, though. How am I gonna do that, though? Pleased to meet you. I can get Iffy to activate Big Green Grass, right? I think so. Okay. So, when does it activate exactly? It activates like after the battle, right? Nice yeah. Timing, huh? Okay. That's better. Who's next? Much better. We're much better off than we were last time. <laughs> Okay. Well, if that's the case, wouldn't it just be better to always have big green grass activate? I mean, yeah, it's a lot of... It's a lot of, um... Well, this is only if it's 30%. Yeah, no, no, no. It's just basically a green grass, but it happens to everybody. So why don't I just have them both at 85? Seems situational, I know, but... That might be the way to go for this boss. They look mean. Alternatively, I can always lower the difficulty down to normal. <laughs> That's always an option, too. Considering bosses take long enough in hard mode, could you imagine on normal mode? They would just never end. Got this awesome, like, s violin, uh, s like, synth remix of Splash. Even though this technically came before Splash, Splash is Rebirth 1 only. It's just the melody is the exact same. More and more. Yeah, just, just keep going. More and more. Thirty-two thousand damage. <laughs> so Kamba does forty-three thousand damage per turn. It's not bad. Ah! Ow. <laughs> That still does a lot of damage. I won't hesitate to use more. Okay, now we'll see. That's good. I think this would have sold for a good price. Okay. That's that's fine. That's fine. I can deal with that. There's just a free thirty thousand damage right there. It's actually not as much as Kampa. Kampa did more damage. <laughs> Boring, man. That's a good one. Did you think that was it? Uh, Iffy actually didn't do that much damage. He only did um like eight thousand damage. Oh, here we go again. 
Oh fuck. I'll return the favor later. If he's dead? Now's the time. That's really shit. Okay, we need a revive kit. Upon damage, upon acting. First aid kit's more of a priority, I think. It has Iffy's thing work. It works result. Result is like when the turn ends, right? <laughs> Unfunny names. <laughs> nah, I think it's funny, actually. Personally. Yeah, Compa's actually our our big damage dealer here. Oh no, that's because she got a guard break, that's why. Still good damage though. Oh wow, okay, 98,000. Oh. Oh boy. Is he gonna do the big the big attack now? We just might be able to kill him if we're lucky. Maybe? Oh, I just barely killed him. Holy shit. I thought I was gonna die. I can still get stronger. 150,000. Okay. We got another 150,000 experience. That's okay, we can make that experience up later. I'm just glad I beat that guy. Oh. 87. How, what how many times are we at even? We finally got the second key fragment. 67 yeah. times. I think. We need two more to save Miss Isty, right? Holy shit, Zeppi's gonna be so happy. Last night was 64. Okay, 65 then. Let's just say 65. Just who is this Isty person? Your explanation is not unlike a coloring book, Nip. <laughs> coloring book. Actually. I haven't heard from her in a while, but who cares, you know? It'll be a nice surprise for yeah, her Yeah, rip, when we rip the N64. Dude, Ze Zeppy's gonna be so happy we finally found a fucking key fragment. <laughs> Let's go. Last station key. Dude, is that the end of the last station arc? I think it is. The last station arc's done. Great. We can finally go to another land. Alright, um... Well, let's go exploring. Actually, let me check the shop first. I need more, uh... Reflexes, to be honest. I'm gonna buy, like... Yeah, maybe I could buy, like, 100. 100's good, right? Yeah. So that's plenty. Okay. Oh, she couldn't get the claymore, but the claymore sucks because I have the sword arm, Oz. Royal armlet. It's not much better than my purple one, is it? That should be a celebration. I don't think there's any new armor for everybody. Paradox and... Wait, what? Why is this weaker than what I have? Oh, because I got that really overpowered weapon for Kampa. That's why Kampa's doing so much damage. The Brisk Guitar. Okay, now that's a good weapon. I will buy that. <laughs> if he still doesn't have much magic, though. Because we can get one new weapon. We got the, uh... Brisk Guitar for Iffy. Which look- those look pretty cool, honestly. I like that. Okay, we got more- we got a new weapon. Did we learn anything new? I don't think we did. Alright, let's save. So we, that's, that's the progress. We got a key fragment. So now we just need two more. We need to wait for, um, lean box. I'm gonna go to lean box. We haven't been there in a while. There might be something for me to do there. 
I mean, unless, unless there's a dungeon I can go into here. Uh, Wavy Wasteland's too strong. 459th Metal Tower. Hmm, let's try this place. Why don't we get all the key fragments? Then Isti is saved, and we get to go to the final dungeon. We did good. This dungeon looks new. Pretty, uh, interesting map layout, too. We got treasure. Obtain treasure. Yeah, just some reflexes. Not sure how tough these these dungeons are gonna be. You never know. They look mean. <laughs> Big dragon dude. Nidog. This guy is oh, this is a this dungeon is not good. Okay. I, th this dungeon might be impossible. <laughs> I don't think I'm allowed to be in here. This seems very endgame-y to me. We should keep escape as an option. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh... No, being in here is a bad idea. <laughs> okay, we're leaving. That dungeon is a no-go for right now. Okay, um... What about the, um, challenge cave? Have I been in here already? About to find out. Was this the one with all the big, bad, like, turtle looking dudes? Oh boy, whatever. I guess I have some time. Okay, the, this dungeon I can do. Oh yeah, this is a really low-level dungeon. I'm not even getting a thousand experience from this. I'll do this one then. And I got treasure search. Ready to go treasure hunting? Uh, it's over that way. I'll get over there eventually. Who knows? Maybe we'll find a um, one of those Fiona-looking dudes. Let's not waste our time here too much. Banger music. Oh yeah, you guys want to know some insane news that I found out last night? So, I found out Again, that Terry Bogard is coming to Street Fighter 6. I'm not a Street Fighter fan, but seeing Terry Bogard in Street Fighter is just really cool. Oh, treasures at the end, okay. And, and in addition to that, yeah, I, I found that out. And also, uh, Heiachi is coming back in Tekken 8. So... I wonder what kind of items are here. We're having one big fun reunion. <laughs> I'm not really a... I can take care of I'm not that. really like a big Street Fighter fan, and I've only played Tekken 7, so I'm not like too into the series, but... I still think that's cool. You found that out too. Cool. That was easy. How far behind are Iffy and Compa in terms of levels now? <laughs> I wonder. Uh, not that. They're th two levels behind now. <laughs> I mean, levels don't really matter too much. Oh, hang on. I wonder what kind of items are here. Uh oh. God damn it. I think it was revealed at, like, EVO or something like that. But, still cool regardless. Alright, thanks for the treasure chest. Ooh, 
I got lucky. Cardboard W. Cardboard W? Is that any good? Well, currently I have Angel W. This increases my strength even more. Holy shit, it gives me like 20 extra attack power. God damn, I want that. It kind of reminds me of how in other Neptunia games they have a blank processor. Which, to my knowledge, doesn't do anything. <laughs> Capcom crossover to SNK. Yeah, they, they did a crossover, didn't they? They did, like, Capcom SNK or whatever. Crossover on, like, the Wii and PS3 or something, didn't they? So that's no surprise. It's just, it's just really cool, you know, see Terry. Well, those enemies are extremely weak, damn. Yeah, we, we, we could use more cool crossover games like that. You know, like, um... Hmm. Has Tekken ever done a crossover with uh, SNK before? Now that's a good question. Alright, Neptune. How does she look when she breaks from the front? Oh, oh, okay. Jeez, that kind of startled me. I was like, oh, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Terry isn't the only one who's in FF SF6. Who else is in FF6? SF6. I don't know. Back off! Don't waste your life. Is it all? Is it another? Is it a guy from? Is it from Tekken? My Shiranui. Oh yeah, that's cool. Actually, wait, you know, I just realized Tekken and Tekken and SK already did do a crossover because um, Geese Howard is in Te is in Tekken Seven. So technically, they already did do a crossover, kind of. And also, Akuma is in Tekken Seven. So yeah, the crossovers they just kind of happen like naturally at this point, which I, I find really funny. Uh, this guy should be pretty easy, though. We got the big booba lady in uh, SF6. Dude, high pressure does so much damage. Bro's almost dead. Uh oh. If he almost died, but that's okay. Oh, bye. Bye, boss. <laughs> Don't think I couldn't handle that. Cro the crossovers just get even more insane. Also, that guy gave me 20,000 experience. That's not bad. Good job. 30,000 credits. On the back. Yay, thanks, Compo. Okay, that's another dungeon done. Massive storage. There's actually a lot of dungeons that I've not been to at all. Lower sealed area. I'm kind of sick of last station though, so let's uh, let's go to lean box for a change of pace. I think we've had enough of last station. We were there all at last episode. So, and lane blocks probably are a least explored nation of all of the Neptunia nations in this game so far. And also, I have no idea how if how Compa got such a good weapon. That was easy. Now she just needs a good armor, and that and then should be all set, I think. I'll take the free uh, materials though. Those are always nice. I mean, hey, if you, need, if you need free materials, you know, there you go. Just just fight low-level enemies, low-class enemies. Alright, now to find out, is there anything we can do in Lean Box? Uh, this is my calling. Nisa appears in a time of crisis. She decides on her path after a fierce battle. 
What's up with all the monsters lately? Why do we keep finding them near towns? More uh, badass music. What about Koei Tecmo? Do you know, you know where the crossovers? Um, no, but I do know that they put Ryu Hayabusa in Dead or Alive. Which doesn't really count, because, you know, they're the same franchise, pretty much. And then there's also the Warriors Orochi games, which I don't know much about those either, but those also have Koei Tecmo characters in them. As long as we keep shooing them away, the townspeople will be okay. <laughs> My Shiranui was in Dead or Alive? She fits right in that game, honestly, with how much jiggle there's going on. I know, but there've been so many. Iffy Angry Iffy. Free zone. I'm sure reinforcements are on the way. <laughs> wine free zone. <laughs> That's right! Never give up! Never surrender! This voice! The Keeper of Game Industries Justice, Nisa, is here to stay! Now I see why some people accidentally mislabel this song as Nisa's theme. Because <laughs> it keeps showing up when she- it, it keeps playing when she shows up. That counts as a, I guess yeah, that counts as a crossover. Kinda of why I was hoping uh, Ryu Hayabusa would be in Smash, because he seems like a pretty good fit, considering he's in fighting games. And he's one of, like, the OG characters on a Nintendo console. Oh, threats to peace! Thou shan't take Nary a step farther with my arrival! Oh, I'm glad she's here! Yeah, we love Nisa. We don't disrespect our, um, our lovely, flat-chested, ass-kicking heroine. I wish I could tell you to go take a break, but there are too many for me this time. Fight with me, if you can! Okay, I feel good now that you're here. Yeah, let's go. Alright, let's get him! It's time to kick ass. Last blow! Roar. <laughs> awesome! Justice wins yet again! Anyway, I can't believe you all would take on a job like this. There are only three of you. If you don't accept your limits, you'll end up accepting an early death. I'm amazed she's able to do all this on her own. <laughs> we haven't got a Koei Tecmo character in this series. Yeah, that's another good point. We're sorry, but we have our reasons. Right, Nap Nap? You betcha. We're... I see. Okay, I think I'll watch over you all for a while. Yay! You're on a journey for the sake of peace and Also, justice, um, right? 66 times. <laughs> I believe my assistance will come in handy. Plus, I think I'll find more helpless people should I tag along. We shall reach the source of the ultimate evil! That's my mission as a heroine, anyway. So, how do you like my offer? Sure, I can't really turn you down when you put it like that. We'll be stronger than ever with a real heroine on our team. Wait, guys. Guys. Are we about to get our first party member? Cool. It's a deal. Nisa joined the party! Oh my god. I've never been so happy to get a party member in a Neptunia game. Holy shit. We actually have another party member. Well, she's a guest right now. And she's only level one? Oh, oh no. <laughs> hey, yeah, that's still good, though. We gotta level her up. Wait, how do we put her in our party? Well, I don't think we can. What do you mean, view? Ability her ability is to view shares. How long? It took until part 11 to get a party member. And she's just a guest. She's a temporary party member for now. She joins later, but that's still good. So what do we do with her now? Do we just go to a dungeon or something? Oh, interesting. What's the point of viewing shares, though? <laughs> Oh yeah, that's right. I'm done like all the dungeons in Lean Box. There's like nothing to do here. Okay, I mean I'm glad I came here though. 
Okay, um... Guess we're going to... You know, we've not been to Planiptune in a while. Let's go to Planiptune. We're going to explore Planiptune. That's the wrong way, bro. We need to level Nisa up a bit before she leaves. I don't know when she leaves. It says she has the Prinny gun, the Hero Brace, the Hero Goggles, and Justice Suit. Oh, okay. <laughs> Teamwork. I got an achievement for that. Yeah. Can you believe it that there's 10 party members in this game, and I only have three of them? Okay, now the question is, does... Does Nisa get experience when she's not in the party? I mean, we feel, we feel more like a party than last time, that's for sure. I'm not gonna count until until I can actually use her in a battle, though, because this doesn't count. So technically, no, I have not gotten a party member yet. But whatever. Um, rampaging dragon, and her dream. The party's influence on Gust was subtle but significant. From her for herself and her dream, what path will she take? Oh, 68 times. I find you. Gust, were you looking for us? Yes, I have favor. A favor? To ask us? I want to join party, so I travel with you. Yay, we're getting everybody today. <laughs> it counts if I can actually swap her in and out of battle. <laughs> Why? Did something happen? to gather ingredients around world and make items to help world i thought it helped traveling with you who find earth crystal i won't be trouble promise please let me come wow we get combat or not or we get um we get nisa and gust that's so cute i love it our journey isn't always safe oh 69 Sometimes times we get ambushed by a pale weird looking lady <laughs> is that okay Goth, no problem for Gus. <laughs> Goth, no problem. That's a good. That's a good line. What do you say, Nep Nep? Iffy? She's totally welcome. The best things while traveling are buddies. More the merrier. Just don't eat my secret snacks. You have sneaker snacks? No objections either. She can help manage the finances. Oh, she's good for that. Yeah, that, that's one thing good. That's one good thing Gust is used for is she's good with Moonie. Gust has joined the party. Yay! Wait, so what's her ability? Ability discount. Oh, she get she lets you get Moonie. Also, uh, no, they, they they don't get experience. That's great though. They're here. So they don't join your party. They just um. Let you get stuff for cheaper? Oh yeah, look at that. That costs 70 instead of a th uh, instead of 100. That's really useful. Oh my god. I better take advantage of that while I can. And buy like... I don't know, let's say, um... Until it reaches 10,000. Alright, right. 143 reflexes. <laughs> I'll buy, um, 20 of these, and, uh, 12 of those, and 27 of these. There we go. All good. Now I got, now I got lots of healing. So that's their abilities. I, what, what the hell are, um, red and 5 PP's ability is gonna be then? That's what I gotta wonder. So there's nothing else to do here. Where the fuck do we go then, Louis? 
That's the only thing I can think of. Unless I go to, like, a dungeon or something. Mmm. A goddess's memory. Um, well, it's worth a try. It says I've been in here before. <laughs> I opened the chest. But it says I have not beaten this dungeon before. Was this- was the boss in here too tough or something? Maybe. I'm trying to remember. I should make, like, notes of the dungeons or something. Can we make an exception this time? Damn, look at this dude. I don't remember fighting this dude. Hmm? Oh, fuck. Oh fuck, okay, he did 5,000? How embarrassing. That's really bad. Okay, yeah, that, that that says to me that's not that we're not doing that. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, uh this dungeon is a no-go then. Is there any the enemies do five thousand damage? What other dungeons can I do? Um, Plan Neptune Reconstruction. Ultimate Fiber. Do I want to be in here? Ugh, God, I love the music in this game so much. This has to be like one of my favorite Neptunia soundtracks. Um, well, you know what, Neptune, you can take these guys out, right? Just defend. Whoa! Whoa. Oof. This Not good. Work. We can tank these enemies. Yikes. This should... this is a good... I mean, we can, we can survive for sure. It's just a, l a little bit out of our comfort zone. Did you think that was it? And we have Ify's uh, or no, Compa's amazing weapon. Now's my chance to attack. All right, and then attack this guy with Neptune. Perfect. How much experience do these guys give? It's not bad being praised for good work. Experience four thousand. <laughs> How much progress have I made? Um, hard to say. Well, anyways, I'm gonna use a um wrong thing. I'm gonna use an escape button, a reset button. You have to get five of those. That is a bit more out of- that's a bit more out of, uh, reality. Anyways, we're gonna buy another, uh, reset button. There we go. Well, if I look at my progress here, um, it says I have completed 35% of the bestiary, 36% of the dungeons, and 43% of the events, which is about a fourth of the- or about 40% of the game overall. Which is not bad. It's almost half. But it's more like a third of the game. And also, I need to buy more eject buttons at some point, probably. Although, where the hell did all my, uh, where the hell did all my tough mills go? <laughs> yeah, it's almost the end of July, so I might beat this game by the end of August, if I'm lucky. Who knows? It's a long game, bro. It's gonna take like 30 episodes, probably. Might be like one of the longest Neptunia games I've ever played. Next to V2 and Rebirth 3, because those games are also pretty damn long. Okay, where else can I explore? Because that's out of, uh... That's out of, uh... Yeah. Oh, and Sector 3 is not happening, either. We've not been to Norma Tower. 
or the start of the start of autumn. I mean, I want to finish this game before the end of August, obviously. Wow, this dungeon looks nice. They just keep coming up with new new dungeon designs. Anyways, Iffy, uh, where do we go in here? Ready to go treasure hunting? Treasure is uh, way over there. Okay. Coming from above. Watch out! So how bad are these? These guys can't. These guys can't be that bad. Oh yeah, these guys are easy. These are these enemies are more on the easy side, <laughs> more around my level. I mean, I said I wasn't going to do all the dungeons, but now it's kind of bothering me, so I end I'm doing them anyways. How funny is that? I say I'm not going to do something, and I end up doing it anyways. Ready to go treasure hunting? Yeah, so I think the treasure is more along this way. There's a big dungeon. Look at this shit. It's going to take a while to get through it. I mean, that's one thing holding this game back, though, is that the dungeon design is, like, really weak. It's, it suffers from, uh, it suffers from Persona 3 Syndrome, where it's just a bunch of random hallways. And September, yeah, September will be nice. Do you remember? Just like September. That's not how the song goes, whatever. I won't have to, um... I won't have to, um, you know, wear wet shirts all the time. I can just wear my shirt normally. Because, <laughs> yeah, um, the only way I can keep myself cold in the summer is by wearing wet shirts. And that's the only way I can keep myself cold in the summer. Because even though I have a, a little, my, even though my AC got better, it's still not enough. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> I don't know why I compare this to Persona 3 FES. Because this game came out, like, four years after Persona 3. So it was, it's just kind of on my mind. That was easy. I mean, we're getting a lot of like, experience. Yay! Yeah, 2006. And this game is 2010. So I'm pretty sure the treasure is like... I hope we'll find something nice. Oh, wait, no, it's still over It's over here? Where the fuck is it? Is it in this corner? I'm looking. Ready to go treasure hunting? Aha! Not a bad place for it, honestly. I found something. Trinity Bangle? That has to be good. There's no way something with a name that cool is shit. And it's shit. Damn it. <laughs> well, hang on. Is it better on Nep Nep? Mmm. Kind of. It gives her more magic defense and more, uh. It's t I think that might be worth putting on. It gives her more magic defense and it gives her better resistance to elements and six extra AP. Though she does lose, like, 200 defense. But that's okay, I think. She's got a lot of health, anyway. Well, she has the least amount of defense right now. I'll see how I feel about it. Because that extra AP might make it good. She can get, like, an extra attack in, most likely. And maybe even Neptune Break, Hopefully, if we're lucky. I guess I have some time. Or no, not, not Neptune Break. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be able to afford CPU Neptune. I think the minimum AP I need to do CPU Neptune would be um, 124. I need 124 AP to do CPU Neptune. So that's not happening. <laughs> I guess you... True, you don't get random encounters in FES. That's one good thing. That's why all the other Neptune games fix this problem, because in other Neptune games, there are no random encounters, which I like. You can choose to fight the enemies if you really want. I mean, most of the time I do anyway, and also the battle system is just faster in modern Neptunia anyway. I mean, I only, I'm only reason why I'm making it fast is because I have Neptune Break. I can 
can take care of this alone. Then Neptune break makes the battles really fast, which is good. And I'm also playing on hard mode, which also is a reason why. Am I like super strong? Super strong. Yeah, I'll take more reflexes. <laughs> Always nice to get those. This is pretty good. Reflex. I'm curious what the best armor is in this game. Because the youth bandage is still like one of the best. Next to the purple bracelet. I don't think anything has really come close to it. Pretty mysterious Neptune of love and justice. In the name of the Basilicom, I'll punish. Oh yeah, these guys barely do any damage. I won't lie, Neptune forward to next time. might be some of my inspiration for wanting to go back and watch the second season of Sailor Moon. Because <laughs> now I'm already on episode 8 out of, uh, I think, 43. I watch like two episodes a night. So at the minimum, it'll probably take me like three to four weeks to get through it. Which is okay. Plus, Neptune has, like, her super cool lightsaber, which is super OP. I wish nursing school was this easy. You know what actually- you know what that kind of reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of the Geha burn from Mark II. Which is still one of the most badass swords in all of Neptunia, by the way. The Geha burn is, like, so cool. Yo, look at this. Look at this. Like, that looks like a, that looks like it could be an SMT demon, to be honest. Is it just me? Mm -hmm. Try me from any angle. Traitor knight. Alright, defend. Ooh. That looks more powerful than it actually is. Yeah, that, that is weak as hell. I never let my prey go. If he hasn't got any AP in a while, I probably shouldn't leveled up yet. No, not really. Maybe okay, that is just me then. Now's my chance. Alright, let's defend. Okay, yeah, that did way more damage. <laughs> okay. Yell out. You can chill out, bro. This is a bonus. Take it. Alright, Iffy should be- or no, Kampa should be able to end this. Why do I keep getting Iffy and Kampa mixed up? That's really stupid. <laughs> Kampa should totally be able to end this battle. Because she does so much damage with her syringe. Yeah, we're done. There we go. That is not a lot of experience, what the hell? Hello, chat member. As expected, it's not worth celebrating, but nice. Defeat the traitor knight who betrayed his allies. Okay, well that was a pretty simple boss. Now we're thirty-six percent done the dungeons. I wonder where most of the enemies are gonna be at. 
Okay, so next up, um, Sealed Ruin? Have we been to the Sealed Ruin before? I don't think so. Or at least we've never def we've never beaten it. Oh, you know what? I probably just said, like, this dungeon isn't worth it because of how low level it is. I might have said that. I don't know. I bet their experience points suck. Oh, yeah, this is a really low level dungeon. I'm gonna do it anyways because, uh, you know, completion. Our party rules! Plus, I get more free items. That's always nice. 400 reflexes, guys. Obtain treasure. Character badge. I have not done this dungeon then, because I, I would have gotten that treasure probably. I gotta go around and defeat five jockey. Easy. Let's get him in a single turn. Probably five battles minimum. Because only one of them seems to show up per fight. Hey guys, it's nice to see some dog goose for a change, huh? This is our true power. It's like one of the it's like one of the two only recognizable enemies in this game besides the invaders. Uh, let me guess. This is where the treasure is. Kind of items are here? Oh, it's actually over there. So we're guessing there's no item here. Okay. No, I guess not. I'ma break it. I'ma break it. They're not as strong as they look. Oh, piss easy enemy here. The easiest encounter yet. You use mash the triangle button a couple times and you're done. Hey, look, a leather bracelet that I don't need. Oh, these guys dropped two reflexes, so I'm just gonna get ten per battle. I wonder what kind of items are here. So I'm gonna come out here with, like, ten extra... ten extra reflexes. Oh, don't mind me, I'm just spinning to get encounters. <laughs> Ready to go treasure hunting? Boom. Alright. Grand L. Grand L? Is that any good? Mm. It's hard to say. It does give me defense. But I usually prefer strength over defense, to be honest. None, and none of these give me strength, so... Yeah. It does give me more buffs over the Blast L. Oh, I'm still waiting on a good strength up one. They're not as strong as they look. This is probably one of my favorite dungeon themes in the game, or battle themes rather. Just battle themes in general. The Planet Team battle theme is super good. Very catchy. Probably just because I love the Planet Tomb theme so much, and having it as a battle theme is really awesome. Now, if only there was a way to, like, run faster. You know, I wouldn't mind, like, running faster in exchange for more, like, encounters, you know? Kind of like, um, kind of like Pokemon. You know, like how in Pokemon, if you run through the grass, you're more likely to get encounters. I kind of wish... I could do that, you know. I, like, super strong? Run faster through the dungeon, you know, but you get encountered. It's basically like a speed up button. Which would be really nice in a game like this. When the you know, dungeons are so massive and you run so slowly. Piece of cake. There he is. About to do this dungeon in like three minutes. We got him good. Oh, 
Yep. Yay! This is fantastic. Well, there you go. There's more dungeons complete. Dungeon completion, 37%. Not bad. Um... No trespassing area, deep end evil cave. Um... Norma Tower 4-2. See how this dungeon goes. I mean, we beat normal tower one pretty easily, so let's see how number two goes. Just don't mind me just cutting some corners. Save time. I can take care of this alone. Um, it's just doggoos. Why is this one so easy? Why is four why is four two easier than four one? You can't tell me that's the only thing in this dungeon. Oh I gotta defeat ten doggoos, that's why. Bro, I'm about to defeat all the doggoos before I even um get through the dungeon and find the loot. I'd have to actively like you know pussy out on like Let's enemy encounters. Time here too much. Oh, but okay, some of them are also Vaders. <laughs> this might be like the most piss easy dungeon of all time, bro. This is our true it's, not even, it's not even a challenge. We'll take the free reflexes, though. Okay, let me guess. Ready to go treasure hunting? The treasure is. It's actually on the other side of the dungeon. For once. Oh, there's just a chest sitting out in the open. This is pretty good. T five reflexes. Well, there's gotta be something good over here, right? Even if they look weak. Oh yeah, so <laughs> I'm on my quest. To try every Tim Hortons donut. <laughs> I know a very a very silly quest, but um, because every basically every week I like to try I like to go to Tim Hortons like a couple times and try out new donuts, which um yeah I know sounds stupid, but considering I never went to like fast food places or cafes for like the longest time, because I I almost Look never. I never spend my money on, like, fast food places and stuff. So, like, for the record, I never, you know, I never treat myself to McDonald's or anything, so I've never really gotten to try a lot of, like, you know, food that, like, fast food places have. And so, I know one of my favorite places is Tim Hortons, because they got really good donuts, and I also really like their tea as well. Although, I prefer my homemade tea a little bit more, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I spend money on groceries, almost always. Take care of this alone. You know, I might, I might actually beat the quest before I get that damn hidden treasure. But I wonder if that hidden treasure is even worth it. Am I, like, super strong? Yeah, I'm not gonna make it to the end of the dungeon. Because I'm gonna kill all the doggoos. I wonder what kind of items are here. I mean, I want to know what's in that treasure, man. Oh, I don't know. If, I don't think I'm making it. I can't just run because I have a limited number of eject buttons as well. I bet their experience points suck. <laughs> well, maybe some other time we'll have to find out what's in that treasure chest. Try to save enough money for a PS4, like, Nintendo console? What do you mean a PS4, like, Nintendo console? What the fuck does that mean? This way. Good job, everyone. I'll pat you on the shoulder. Why was that easier than the first floor? I'm confused. 
This seems so weird. Okay, so what about, um... What about floor 5? Why is there no floor 4, 3, or 4? Does it just go straight to floor 5? Is this gonna be the bullshit one? This is gonna be the bullshit one, right? The bullshit dungeon? <laughs> the new Nintendo console might have the same uh, specs of the PS4. Oh. Oh, I don't like this already. This is one of those golem enemies. Soldier. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> this guy is about to wreck us, isn't he? Yeah, okay. I think that goes to show me wh how, what level of dungeon this is. Okay. The fact that the next Nintendo console might only be as powerful as a PS4 just sounds really sad. <laughs> Considering I still own my PS4. It's not hooked up, but I still have it. Okay, so that's done. Planet Tune Reconstruction. That's the Ultimate Fiber. And then Rampaging Dragon, I'm guessing, is also really, um... This is gonna be even harder. It's just depressing, because we, we're already on the PS5. Like, the PS5 is, like, what? Probably halfway into its life cycle? Maybe, like, a third? And we're just now... Ninten just now Nintendo saying, Oh, yeah, maybe I should be as strong oh, as the PS4. I guess I have some time. Okay, I'm curious how strong these guys are. Okay, these guys are actually really easy. What the hell? I wish nursing school was this easy. Actually, why is this one easier than floor two? Dude, this makes no sense. Oh, 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 okay. Hang on, I'm gonna save real quick. And also, did I buy an eject button? Yes, I did. Or a reset button, rather. Here, Mr. Monster! Don't be shy! Ready to win this? Badass music time. Mm -mm, burn, burn, burn. All right. Okay, this guy won't hurt too badly. We we got this. We'll be fine. I never let my. Combo just- Combo just does a lot of damage. Yeah, combo break. Combo breaker. More and more. Alright, now we can defend. <laughs> the ninth gen of consoles aren't looking up well. Eh. I don't own them, personally. Well, I, I, I own the Series X, what am I talking about? Alright, let's defend. This is gonna be a pretty easy one, then. This is gonna be- I think this is the guy that gives, like, 52,000 experience or something. Yeah, do your attacks. Another combo. More and more. And he's dead. Cool neck. It's not bad being praised for good work. How Energy bangle. Don't I already have that? Power. Hmm. I'll keep getting stronger. Critical, huh? We just have to get to the end of the dungeon, that's all. <laughs> and I have a PS5, yep. 
Never mind then. So yeah, we yeah we have energy bangles already. They're the ones that give you like 500 extra health. But they're really weak by this point in the game. So I mean, well the boss might be strong. Who knows? Do 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 do. Ah, oh, this is so good. Yeah, bye guys. Let's just say we're on a different level. <laughs> we're on a different level. Exactly, we are. Ooh, a chest. I want that. Yay! Wow, ten more reflex. Oh, hey, guy. <laughs> I I'm just like walking in the ground of the dungeon, and then suddenly, just there's just a boss standing there. The Dark Rage Dragon. The Dark Dragon Blade. <laughs> yeah, this, this guy this guy is not really a this guy's kind of a cakewalk, honestly. This is a bonus. To be honest, I probably should have just done Neptune Break. But whatever. I think I can keep I might even kill him. I think I can keep go Oh yeah, he's he's dead. He didn't even get to attack. <laughs> no problem at all. Come back anytime. Buying a PS5 for F7 is a good enough reason though. Okay, that was easy. Did that in like four minutes. <laughs> Am I dreaming? I'm so a dark awesome. king is going out of. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna register the ranking. Does that even mean anything? <laughs> All right. Is there anything? In it? War against creation in last station now. I do like a couple things in Planetude and something new opens up there. <laughs> Stronger version of the Tektro Dachshund. These all are really weak. Okay, considering what I have right now. Okay, um, I'm going to last stage, or no, not last stage. I'm going to late the Wii now, because I don't know where else the fuck to go. It's not letting me make much progress in Lean Box, so screw it. <laughs> no sweat. Amazon Rebirth is PS exclusive. So yeah, that is a reason to get it, to get a PS5. The only reason for now I can think of. I can't think of any other PS5 exclusives that I actually give a shit about. I'm curious. What happens if I use the bell with Kampa? Here, Mr. Monster. Don't be shy. Oh, it just summons a monster. Time here too much. Interesting. Keep summoning more monsters. Hmm. No 
problem at all. Come back anytime. So that also stops the encounters, does it? Oh. Okay, you know what? I should start doing that in more of the dungeons, to be honest. That'd be better than getting encounters that interrupt me all the time. Alright, please tell me there's something I can do here. Good ear. When Kamba drops her change, Gus's secret skill is discovered. Okay, we're, we've got something with a gust. Oh no, I dropped my change. Better pick it up quick. One, two, three, four. <laughs> okay, that's all of it. Kampa, you dropped five. Look more carefully. Are you sure? I don't see any. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I love her little face. Wow. She's Those just like... Eyes you've got, Gus. <laughs> I didn't see them fall, though. Then how did you know there were five coins? He's just got a good ear. The sound. Gust, guess how many coins are in my hand by the sound? Seven. All from Metal Game. Amazing. You even knew what kind of material the coins were. That's a perfect skill for gambling. <laughs> It'll release soon if the anniversary happens. Yeah, and maybe we'll get some news on Final Fantasy VII, uh... Uh, what's, what's the next one gonna be called? I don't know. Rejuvenation. <laughs> so, Gust, you wanna go make oh, some Oh, 70 tonight? times. IF, children should not gamble. No matter desire for money. <laughs> children should not gamble. Well, isn't she oddly responsible? Where the fuck do I go? Hi-Fi radio? I can get my ears raped for 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 free. This one's for four member civilian on Planet Tune. Good evening, 5PB. Good evening, civilian. I feel like less monsters are on Planet Tune lately. It's thanks to those who are fighting on our behalf. I wanted to just send my thanks to those brave souls. Planet Tune used to be ravaged by monster attacks, but it looks like peace is coming back. I'll cheer them on with my songs, too, so please keep at it, everyone. Here's a letter from the screen named Sergeant Planet Tune. Good evening, 5PB. I have a favor to ask of you today. Please participate in the anti-illegal disc copying campaign. Many incidents have been reported where monsters appear from inside illegal discs brought from black monsters. Or bought from black mar mar black f bought from black markets. <laughs> Can't talk. Please help people become aware of the danger. Sure, everyone, stay away from suspicious game discs. They're dangerous and you get hurt. Promise me, okay? A letter from Pierre, Planet Tune resident. Hiya, 5PB. Hiya, yourself. I just got my stolen stuff back from when an ally betrayed and attacked me. They were gifts from an old friend, so I'm happy. My wounds are almost healed, so I can't wait to get back on the field and fight monsters again. I can't believe someone would betray and steal from their ally. Fighting monsters is important, but make sure you rest up for now. It looks like it's time for me to go. This broadcast, including its props and tools, was brought to you by Last Station's Avenir. Oh god damn it, not La not fucking Avenir again. Hey, is there anything else here? Alright, what else we got? A letter from screen name I Love Dogu. Hey 5 PV, I have a random question for you. Heard of dogus? Sure have. They're the cute monsters with the dog ears, right? Light blue bodies with cute round eyes. They even have doggy tails. I want one as a pet. I wonder if they're smart enough to learn tricks. If any listeners keep a bet at Tagu, let me know what it's like. An update on the from the Planet Tune Defense Force on the troll subjugation. Looks like the land's slowly having peace restored. It's an ongoing effort, so if anyone's confident enough to help, please do. Here's a letter here's a letter from screen named Griffin Hunter from Leanbox. Hello, 5PB. Have you heard of griffin hunting? It's a popular lean box activity. You exercise with friends and bring peace to the land. You should try it. Sounds fun. Maybe I'll try if I get the chance. Who wants to come with me? <laughs> this show is brought to you by online shopping superstore of Amazoo.nep. <laughs> I'm surprised your eardrums didn't rapture. <laughs> Good name for the P Part 3 remake. It says there's still more. How loud is it on your guys' end? Because I have the limiter on. 
We're taking messages from our listeners right now. Here's a letter from four member show from Leanbox. Hello, 5PB. I always enjoy listening to your radio broadcasts. I'm writing today's share story. Our town was attacked by a violent dragon, but these girl travelers came and beat up the dragon in the blink of an eye. I want to be an adventurer like them when I grow up. I'll cheer you on until your dream comes true. Thanks for the story and best of luck, show. I'm going to read this report I got from Leanbox's Sanctuary. Greetings. The number of Gyuki in Leanbox has decreased, probably due to those helping out. I represent the entire Sanctuary when I say thank you. Great. Gyuki are known for their violent tendencies. Everyone keep up the great work. I'll cheer you on. This one doesn't have an address, but it's from Extremist. Guess what, 5PV? I quit being an extremist. Everyone's got the right to worship whoever they please, but fighting over it is wrong. I'm going to be a moderist. I'm sorry for those I troubled in the past, but it's always best to do what you think is right. I wish you the most bestest life in the new guild. I'm cheering you. This show is brought to you by Lady Whiteheart. There's still more. There's still more of it. I mean, I'm okay, because I like 5PV anyway. Here's one from Moneymaker, a resident of Louis. Good evening, 5PB. I recently made a good chunk of profit through my business. With it, I got a surround sound system in my house, and I listened to your music while cranking it to... to two. Two? I think that's what it says. I look forward to your next album. Good luck. It makes me so happy to hear you do that for my music. Thanks, I won't disappoint you. That was brought by Avenir. Okay, now we're out of stuff. So, it, there's nothing to do here as well. Wait, no, there's a dis snow forest. That's where we gotta go next, then. Wait, so why did I stop that dungeon, then? Uh, I don't know, honestly. Let's go search there. Apparently, we're supposed to go here. What? Why did I stop? I didn't do this dungeon already? Hmm. All right. Don't let your guard down, even if they look weak. Pretty do 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 do. These guys are pretty easy, though. Again, our absolute victory. Oh, what the hell? This, this is like an easy dungeon. Why is this one here? Okay, but more importantly, we gotta figure out where this damn treasure is. Ready to go treasure hunting? Oh, we only found it. That was easy. And also, let's um, let's call some monsters over. Here, Mr. Monster. Don't be shy. I can take Here, Mr. Monster. Alone. Just Neptune break everything. We're on a different level. That was it. Okay. Enemies are fleeing already. I hope we'll find something nice. I should be doing this way more often. Just just being able to disable encounters for a while is so nice. It's a mimic? Psych. Alright, let's um continue. <laughs> Damn, this game sucks ass. <laughs> we actually got someone. Yeah, I got Gust and Nisa. And they are lending us their abilities, which is great. Although, unfortunately, I can't use them in battle yet because I have to do a few more scenes. But we're getting somewhere. We, we actually, uh, li li they're at least going to join us soon. I know that. And, you know, they're, they're going to help us and give us new abilities. So, it's something. <laughs> Anyways, I turn- the encounters are off now, so... Honestly, Kampa might be the MVP from now on. Just because I can disable encounters whenever I want. Oh, yay! And we get to listen to the dungeon music some more. So that's- that's the true... Why are they- when are they playable? That's what I'm- I'm curious about. But we get cutscenes with them, so they're like kind of a part of their par our party. And there's nothing over here. We just had a cutscene- we just had a cutscene with Gust not too long ago. 
So that's great. Oh man, yeah, I, it feels so good to actually do these dungeons without um getting encounters. And then when the when the encounters turn off, or when they turn back on, I can just use another monster bell and then just yeah. Here, Mr. Monster. Than this. And then and then Neptune can just, you know, cheese them. <laughs> like that. I win the MVP award. It's like I'm missing out on experience anyway. These guys don't give anything. Anything to hear the music more. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna make dungeon exploration so much faster, though. We found an item. So that kind of solves one of my problems with this game, honestly. Just being able to turn off the encounters for a limited time. It is kind of like a lapel, honestly. And why should I get a PS Vita? Alright, we got another, uh, we got another Cleone. Ding, ding, ding. I, I'm nervous. Once they're playable, grind this shit out. I will. I, I, I can't wait to use Nisa and Gus, because I've never used them before in any game, because they're only in this game and the sequel. Oh, yeah, we're going to have this again. Going to bully Compa now. Oh yeah, she's gonna use the first aid kit in a second here. Did you think that was it? Did you think that was it? Two. There we go. <laughs> I'm so glad that comp is just like extremely OP now. <laughs> He, he really is the glass cannon right now. All right. All right. All oh, we're we're doing fine. Well, we're almost done with this fight. Alright, Effie, Effie should be able to take him out. Usually, main character is supposed to be OP. I mean... All right, getting better. Tampa is pretty main character. In this game, at least. Yay! We won! Yeah, another free 52,000. Stronger stronger. I'll stronger. Yeah, I'll take the level ups. That's not the boss, though. The boss is over here. Oh, yeah. I don't think I actually was able to beat this dude. I think. I think this guy kicked my ass. Easy. Let's get him in a single turn. Well, let's see. I don't really see what was stopping me from being this guy, but let's find out. He probably just hit really hard or something. Did you think that was it? This is a bonus. Take it home. I'm gonna get another combo in. <laughs> Yeah, combo being OP as usual. I think I can keep. Yep, defend time. Uh. Oh yeah, yeah. Now I see why I died. 
I see why I didn't beat this guy the first time. <laughs> Makes all the more sense now. Did you think that was it? Too bad. Also, didn't Kampa have like another good she had like emergency kit. Yeah, let's do emergency kit instead. Cause she's below 30%. Defend. I mean, who knows? He might die before Compa even gets her turn. Oh yeah, he's dead. Mm -hmm. All right. Don't take it the wrong thanks, thanks anyway, Iffy. Marshall L. I think we're actually gonna make some progress. Finally. That was quick. I think we're getting better at this. Let's go back and play with that girl. Wait. I see a familiar shadow. Nep, Kampa, looks like we've got to pull a little overtime. Oh shit. Who is it? Oh great. She's not acting like before. She doesn't look like she's here to fight. Oh, she's pulling something out. She's holding it up. <laughs> coming towards us. Okay, yeah, I was wrong. Well shit. And now we got a white heart battle immediately after. Great. Just what I wanted to see. Too late for regrets. <sighs> Defending won't work. Oh, she she is not as strong as the boss that I just fought. It makes sense though. Does Kampa have something where she can use it if she's below half? Um, I think the only thing that counts is the first aid kit. Which, sure, why not, right? I never let. Well, now I can defend. Great. Here's Perfect. Uh, we're all healed up now. <laughs> More and more. Yeah, I'm a little over I'm a little over leveled now, but that's okay. <laughs> like I don't think I'm supposed to be a level 30 or so. Yeah, we'll watch we gotta watch the transformation scene at least once per episode, guys. Get to see the shit up attack animation. By the way, where I'm at in Sailor Moon now, Sailor Moon recently just got a new transformation scene. <laughs> like, she reuses the one from season one for like the first five episodes, but then she gets a brand new one because like her tiara stops working and then her like brooch also stops working <laughs> so that she has to get a new one and then it gives her a new transformation sequence which is pretty cool honestly one more Yeah, just keep, just keep comboing. Um, next one is... 4,000 damage. Wow. That's pretty damn good. Oh, oh boy. Uh, she, she did something that, to Kampa that I don't like. This is a bonus. Chaos Edge. All right, yeah, and I, I get, oh, oh, she's dead. She's fucking dead. I wasn't even paying attention, bro. Take me down. 50,000 experience. 
I can feel the power. Yay, I got more AP. I still, I so if I want to get like 124 AP, like I was saying, I would need um like what, like 10 or 11 more level ups <laughs> to even do it. Sad blonde. I lose again to Neptune. Freaking impossible. No, not yet. Once more. No way, kiddo. We're not here to bully weak people. Weak? <laughs> oh, she's not gonna take that very well. Why'd you have to shoot off your hungry little mouth and make the situation worse? Shut up! I don't ever want to hear you say that shit to me. You didn't want anything to do with it. You ran. Whoa, what's this? Wh what are you talking about? What I run from? Everything! Because you're so damn honest. You just wanted to run from everything. I ain't gonna let you win this. Now, just shut up and let me defeat you. Don't ask. Just... Just... Sorry, but I don't wanna. I still wanna see <laughs> I wanna. Misty. I still wanna travel with Iffy and Kampa. How can you let your excuse be something so trivial? It's not trivial. I don't know what you're referring to, and I guess I don't wanna. It's my life, and it means a lot to me. So you're running. Again. You don't wanna know? Because you're a freaking scared coward. That's why. I'm... That was a pretty dramatic discussion for you. Real heated and emotional. You done? <laughs> Damn. Yep. I didn't learn nothing, but I'm done. <laughs> I didn't oh. learn anything. Then shall we commence right. tickle torture until 69 times. Good info? Tickle torture. No, don't. <laughs> oh I told boy. told her I didn't want to know anything anymore. Were you even listening? Yeah, yeah. I'm just joking. Personally, I'm still curious, but it's your business. That's right. If Nep Nep is okay not knowing, then I'll stop being nosy too. But I want to know. You mean you were curious too? Of course. Your past sounds so fun, like it's full of upside downs and inside outs. Yeah, like that movie I just watched recently. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you mean ups and downs and ins and outs. Oh. <laughs> That's what we in the industry call a Rickyism. All right, extremists and Black Shadow. Holy shit, Black Shadow is back, dude. Some guild extremists resort to violence. We are resorting to violence. When their faith is questioned, they hide in Louis' shadows and plot to take down the Basilicon. Oh, great. Is this it? This is the oh-so-super-secret guild extremist gathering? Ah, who could this be? We're not used to newcomers. How did you get past our sentries? <laughs> Maybe it, it might be Eggman Black Shadow. We have two douches in the same room together. They're, um, sleeping. Maybe you should hire more so they can get more rest. Overwork is a bad way to keep employees. Hmm, I'm sure they get the same amount of off days as any other worker. <laughs> oh well. How can I help? I suppose you're not just here to see my magical smile. I'll be blunt. I want you to attack the Basilicom under my direct command. How trustworthy. It sounds dangerous. We alone couldn't possibly carry that out. I suppose it depends what you've got up your sleeve. I wouldn't want to scare you away just yet. Follow my orders and I promise you'll find out eventually. You think we're able to win? I cannot allow you to use us as if we were chess pieces. Meh. It's possible. This will end up being a good deal for you too. You seem pretty sketchy. <laughs> You've got the same discontent as me. Bound by your destiny, judged, all because you don't worship your Birthland CPU. The Guild is a place to worship the goddesses as well, but only the Basilicom can be close to them. Ultimately, you should know, we plan to separate the filthy corrupt Basilicoms and the goddesses. So the Guild can serve them instead? That will never happen if you sit on your hands here. Now's the time. You have my support. And I don't know if- I don't know if he wants anything to do with this. I can't argue that. Regardless, going against the Basilicom is no easy task. Then accept the label of heretic for the rest of your life. Pursue your beliefs in the shadows. You've no chance to win right now, 
but I can make your chances of success almost absolute. Wow, what a great deal. <laughs> The tea is real right now. Alright, let's save. We are 45% done events. Dungeon and bestiary is a bit is gonna be a bit tougher because um Well, there's some like level 900 dungeons I don't think I feel like doing. Oh. So yeah. That's a quest. Um wait, there's stuff in lean box now. Oh, okay. A mysterious monster. Normally, monsters only appear outside of town due to the goddess of divine protection. However... Oh, 70 times, guys! Uh-oh! A monster is attacking the town! <laughs> Uh-oh. What? We've been busting the jaws of so many! What about the goddess's protection and stuff? Why didn't anyone notice this thing approaching the town? Those stupid guards must be completely useless. Stupid guards. I have no clue. It just popped up right there in the middle of town. Everyone's in a big panic. Yeah, and this music makes it really fitting. Um, oh, Dolphin Park. Okay. Snowy and the Wii. That's more blog. Girlfriend's Revenge. Okay. Let's check out the blog then. It's, it's snowy and Louis. What a big surprise there! I'm used to it, but this weather's still cold as crap. <laughs> wow, thank, thanks, blonde. Great, great stuff. Riveting, even. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna lie. I might keep this episode a little on the shorter side because I'm kind of getting hungry now, and you know I want to go make some lunch since it's you know almost 1 30 but we got some progress done today a little bit um it's not much but i'll still take it anyways um later today um i'm not sure when jose wants to do radiant dawn just yet i was thinking about planning to play um actually i got a good idea i'm gonna play um Reading Dawn today, and I think I'll save Amazing Mirror for tomorrow. I think that's going to be a good plan, and we're going to try and do Paper Jam tomorrow as well, because we didn't play Paper Jam last Friday. And I think it would be a good day to do all of that nonsense. So Tuesday will be kind of busy, I think. So that's okay. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to me on YouTube and Twitch. And I'll see you guys later today, where we're going to do Radiant Dawn, so take care.